106X, some Rush and YYZ. Clark in the dark here with you. It's so happy it's Thursday. And the reason I play a little Rush is because, well, Getty Lee, one of the world's most famous bassists. And although, and I've probably pointed this out a, a bunch, bassists to me are basically guys that will just eat your food and sleep on your couch. Wade disagrees with me, though. Wade Craver from uh, NorCal Basics. Uh, is here because he got something very cool going on and quite the basis extraordinaire obviously and and you guys do lots of cool stuff what's the whole point of norcal basics way uh it's, it's an online directory to let everybody know every bit of equipment that's out there in the world you know not there's over 250 links just associated with bass on the website so there's a lot out there now if you're putting a band together and i mean as far okay you get a guitarist you get a drummer is it harder to find a bassist than it is just about any other uh, a, a player, I guess it, I should say? It seems like it, it, which I don't know why. There's a lot, there's, Northern California is loaded with amazing bass players. And the problem is, you know, a lot of people go, oh, it's drums or it's guitar, man, i got to be out there the forefront. But bass, man, it's bass that, bass is the soul of the band, as far as I'm concerned. It's the middle ground between the two, between drum and guitar. Yeah, I mean, it's the whole anchor of everything that you're doing in a band. And, and I mean, I've, I've talked to people before, they're like, oh, I'm going to learn how to play bass because it's easy. Uh, <laughs> no, in fact, one of my best friends is one of the most amazing bassists I've ever seen. And I'm blown away at how technically skilled you have to be to play bass. Oh, yeah, it's great. I mean, to say that playing bass is easy, so I'm going to do it. It's almost like saying skydiving is easy. Right. All you have to do is jump out. Although not to deter anybody from <laughs> yes. wanting to play bass. I mean, or we, skydiving. Yeah, exactly. Better. But we really, I mean, we should be cultivating more bassists, I think. We should. That's the whole idea of putting on events and, and keeping bass as an instrument popular in Northern California. So if you're a fan or if you thought, man, I've always wanted to learn how to play bass, probably checking out NorCal Basics would, would be a good starting point for you. You bet. Once again, NorCalBasics.com. Yep. And then, S -S -I -X. and you put on all sorts of great events and stuff. What was the last cool thing you did there, Wade? Uh, we had Brian Bromberg out at Music Max not too long ago. Brian Bromberg. Uh, Does it ring a bell with me? I know a lot of cool, you guys brought some the, cool guys out. Just one of the top bassists in the world, I mean, for in all genres. I mean, the guy played a, a Jimi Hendrix album the entire thing. Oh, wow. Bass, all the soloing. So, oh, how cool. Yeah. And you can, and you can go to NorCal Basics TV and, and see footage from that event that was filmed by Connor T's publication. So Very sweet. Works out good. So what do you got going on this weekend out of Music Max? Uh, we're going to do the bass swap. We now, figured, now uh, bass swap, I've seen some videos that have this kind of stuff, and they are pretty disgusting. No fishing equipment allowed. Just, oh, no, okay, oh, okay. There's not a fish swap, not a ski swap. <laughs> this is a bass swap. What's it all about? Tell me what, what's going on. Well, you know, nowadays, you know, we all know how the economy is, and people are low on money, and you come across people that, find their, it's easier to not play because they have no inspiration or no new equipment, you know, and whatnot. So we figured why not let everybody grab all that old equipment that they're not using as far as basses and effects and amps or whatever, bring it down to Music Max this Saturday from 3 to 6, hang out, uh, maybe swap your gear or and sell it or whatever you want to do. So, and not to mention we got Christmas coming up. This is probably a great time if, A, you've got a bass that you don't play, maybe this is a way of making a little extra change. Or you know somebody who a bass would be the perfect gift for Christmas. Exactly. This is a great opportunity to get out there and find out more. You're going to be out there, yes? Yeah, yeah. We're going to be doing some product demos from uh, Zon Guitars, Groove Gear, Tech 21, uh, Seymour Duncan Pickups. have sent out some cool stuff for us to check out. Hip Shop Products, Cruise Tools. Now, when you say some product demos, does that mean you will be slapping the bass man? Yeah, we're going to be slapping the bass. Really? So...
Tech 21 involved, you can hear a pretty flat response. 